following function give the following the amplitude, the period, and the phase shift? So we talked about the amplitude. You take the number that's multiplied in front here and you do the absolute value of it. The absolute value of 5 is just 5. For the period, you take the number multiplied in front of your x and you take 2 pi divided by that number. So our period is going to be 2 pi divided by pi. That's what would multiply there. So we'll have a period of length 2 instead of 2 pi. Finally, for the phase shift. Now, to have a phase shift, you have to have something added or subtracted from your x here. And if there is nothing, then there is no phase shift. So we actually on this one have a phase shift of 0. All right, we're again at find the amplitude, period, and phase shift of negative cosine 4x plus 1. Okay, so again, to find the amplitude, you take the number directly in front of your cosine or sine um, and do the absolute value of that. Our number is negative 1, so the absolute value of negative 1 is just 1. We have an amplitude of 1. The period, remember we take our number that's in front of the x and divide it by the or divide the normal period by that number. The normal period for cosine is 2 pi. So we're going to take 2 pi and we're going to divide by 4. 2 pi divided by 4 gives me pi over 2 when I reduce that. Okay. And finally, our phase shift. Now this time we do actually have something added or subtracted from the end so we can determine our phase shift. To find the phase shift, you take that number that's being added or subtracted and you write it with the opposite sign. So it was a positive one, we're going to put negative one, and you divide it by this number we just used to find our period, so the number directly in front of our x. So our phase shift is going to be negative one fourth. All right, find each of those for 2 minus sine 3 pi minus 4x. <laughs> okay, so this is getting more complex. Now remember our amplitude, we just focus in on what's directly in front of sine, what's multiplied by it. So here we have no, just a negative, um, which would be negative 1. Again, you're taking the absolute value of that, so our amplitude comes out to be positive 1 because the, the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. For our period, the normal period for sine is 2 pi. We're going to divide that by whatever number is directly in front of the x. Okay, so where is our x? Here it is. It's right here. Notice, don't be fooled by that. The x was on the end rather than where we normally see it. And we're not going to worry about this sign here. Okay, we're just going to divide by 4. So again, we end up with, when we reduce that, a period of pi over 2 for this function. And then our phase shift is our final thing we're going to talk about. Um, the phase shift, again, you take whatever is added or subtracted from your x value, divide it by that number that's directly in front of your x value. Now notice this is in the opposite order of what we're used to looking at. Usually the x comes first, so I'm just going to reverse it so you can see. Um, this is the same as negative 4x plus 3 pi. The 3 pi was positive, so it will have a plus, and the negative, the 4x was negative, so it would have a negative. This is the way we're used to seeing it. Um, so now remember, we take this number that's added or subtracted from the end and write it with its opposite sign. So we're going to write this as negative 3 pi over the number directly in front of our x, in this case, negative 4. Okay, so with the phase shift, we will worry about that negative that was there. Um, negative divided by negative makes it positive, so our phase shift is a positive 3 pi over 4. So this graph will be shifted 3 pi over 4 units to the right. Its period will be shortened to pi over 2, but it will still have an amplitude of 1. And it will, incidentally, whoops, it will also be moved up to. <laughs> All right, here is yet another example. Okay, so amplitude, period, phase shift. Amplitude, look directly in front of your sign. All we have is a plus sign, which means our amplitude is just 1. For the period, we take the normal period for sine, which is 2 pi. Divide it by our number directly in front of x. So here is x. That's 5. 
So the, the period will now be 2 pi over 5 instead of 2 pi. And finally, our phase shift. We take that number that's added or subtracted with our x, which in this case is pi. Change the sign. So write the opposite sign down. Because remember, in standard form, it's minus that number. Divide that by a number we had directly in front of our x, which was 5. So our phase shift is negative pi over 5. So this will have its period changed, shortened to 2 pi over 5. Its amplitude is still 1, um, but its phase shift is negative pi over 5. So it's going to be moved pi over 5 units to the left of its normal station. And this plus 3 here actually moves it up 3. All right, here is another. Okay, so amplitude, phase, period, and phase shift. Amplitude, again, look directly in front of your sine, cosine, or and there's nothing there. <laughs> so it's just one. Okay. Um, our period, we look for our x. Where's our x? There it is. We want to take the normal period of 2 pi, divide it by the number directly in front of our x, which in this case is 3 pi. Notice the pi's will cancel, and I get a period of 2 thirds. So the new period will be 2 thirds in length. And finally, the phase shift. We take that number with our x that's with our x value, add it or subtract it. Notice it is in parentheses and it's not out here on its own. Um, we write the opposite sign that had listed as negative pi, so we write just pi. Divide it by whatever was in front of our x. In front of our x was a 3 pi. If we reduce that, since the pi's cancel, we get 1 third as our phase shift. All right, again, here we go again. <laughs> go. So each part, amplitude, we look directly in front of our function. So sine has a negative 2 in front of it. Our amplitude will be the absolute value of that number. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. For the period, we take our normal period length for sine, which is 2 pi. Divide it by the number directly in front of our x. Now notice this one has been written in the order we're not used to. Usually our x comes first and the other comes second. So this is what we're used to seeing it as. The number directly in front of our x is negative 2. We're just going to worry about the 2. We're not going to worry about the negative part for that. Um, so notice when we take 2 pi divided by 2, we just get pi. Finally, for our phase shift, we take that number that was added onto the end with our x, 3 pi in this case. Um, we do the opposite sign, so we're going to write negative 3 pi, and we're going to divide it by the number that was in front of our x, which was negative 2. So we divide by negative 2. Negative divided by negative is positive 3 pi over 2, so this graph will be shifted 3 pi over 2 units to the right. Its period is shortened to just pi, and it has an amplitude of 2. Incidentally, it will also be <laughs> reflected over the x-axis because of this negative and shifted up.